Hello, entertainment daily lovers. Welcome, welcome back. So let's talk about the update in the case of Cora Obidi versus Crystal Hackett. <laughs> okay, so we know that Crystal just filed something, even though Crystal came out and was bragging a few weeks ago and trying to convince their cohorts, okay, her cohorts, she and JD, and they were partying and celebrating let me just pause here and say happy new month to each and every one of you in entertainment daily and if you're just joining us for the first time you are welcome don't forget to subscribe turn on notification and membership is so active join our channel membership so you can get certain juicy stuff that we will not be exposing to every single person okay We'll be having members alone, live stream, and so on and so forth. That being said, back to the gist at hand. So Crystal had actually spoken about how all the RR has been thrown out. She doesn't know why people are just being misled. And then her people started celebrating. And what the reasonable people had to say was, everybody be patient, okay? Just be patient. August is going to come. It might be... Or so it might seem to you that August is still too far because it's June, it's July, and then August. But don't worry slowly. And voila. Mm. We are in August. And what did we see? Krista has kept filing her defense. And that defense was weak and whack as hell. <laughs> There's nobody that saw that defense and thought that was a good defense. In fact, even a legal practitioner that saw that said, I don't think these people have an attorney. And I like, yes, I do agree with you. Hands up over here. These people don't have attorneys. Anyways, Crystal, in her defense, spoke about how all the blogger called um, advocates said, posted this about her. And that was one of her defense. Her, another defense she had was that another blogger called Lady A posted this about her. Another blogger called King Esther posted this about her. And that all of these things are not true. Meanwhile, when you look at the things that she mentioned, these three bloggers are... Uh, that they did are things that they could back up they can they could back up the first post they did that she's referencing and they can actually bring more evidence that we even put her in a more terrible position than what she is in already that we all know that and she knows that she's in deep and hot mess but am i surprised i'm not y'all remember that it was jd that was gingering this woman Telling her, I hope you counter sue my ex-wife. And she's seen JD's own filings where JD referred to her as his mother's friend. So that makes her a family member and not a total stranger, just as his ex-wife Korobidi is alleging. And I think these two people joined their concom head together and came up with the idea. I'm talking about JD and Crystal. Joined their concom head together and decided that this was going to be a good defense same thing we saw with jd when jd came up and added the brief one from minnesota as someone to testify for him meanwhile that's someone that has been defaming cora cora's family cora's late mom everybody so i feel like these people don't really think through and it is safe to say that these two do not have a legal or did not get or seek legal advice before filing the nonsense they filed. As for Crystal, Crystal did not stop there, but Crystal took it a step further by also mentioning, you know, letting the judge know that, judge, look, I am not going to agree with you, okay, for what the court is, what Cora is demanding that I stay away from her children. You remember that when we spoke about this some weeks ago, I had told you people that you people should remember the videos that Crystal had done ever before, you know, uh, this sort of started. When, before Cora went to file, you know, took this thing to the legal uh, angle, she kept telling Cora that Cora was a nobody, challenging Cora, that Cora cannot do anything to her, Crystal kept acting like these children were given birth to by just Dean, by just him. Nobody else, okay? No woman was involved. JD carried the pregnancy for he got himself impregnated, carried it for nine months, put to bed, and that was it. Like no female was involved in this in this childbirth, okay? So 
in that sense Cora does not have any right concerning her children children that we know that this woman had in her stomach for nine months better them on social media people saw it on social media you can't even argue that because the evidence is out there this woman kept challenging Cora and we see that challenge happening again in 2024 with what um Crystal just filed as her defense in the case between she and Cora saying to the court that she does not agree because the husband or the ex-husband of the defendant is actually uh um this her family friend so i don't i don't even understand seriously i don't even understand where this is coming from because you have done so much this woman kept dragging defaming cora took those unclouded videos of cora's children that it's unbelievable interrogating the children treating them very bad distributing those videos which is illegal and at the same time she is standing telling you that because i am a family friend which we know is not true they are internet friends they are not family friends there is a huge difference between difference between someone you refer to as a family friend and an and an internet friend they are not there yet they might get there in the future where she will become a family friend but at the time when these videos were filmed at the time when chorus children were interrogated at the time when jd gave access to this woman into the life of those young children jd knew fully well how this woman felt about the mother of those children but he still gave full access and keeps defending the stranger over his own and with her court filings you can tell that she took the advice of jd when jd came on facebook and jd was screaming on the top of his voice that he hoped that crystal will counter sue the heck out of his ex-wife for all these unfounded allegations and she blowing a little thing out of proportion but totally in all he did jd made sure he avoided answering the main questions that everybody was asking him but earlier when the heat came when people started dragging crystal for the nonsense she did by filming the children and treating the children the way she did what happened crystal said jd gave her the permission to actually do so so she didn't just film those videos and posted those videos without you know jd knowing about it Cora knowing about it that one parent knew what was going on and that's why she went ahead and did what she did so now jd came out did not address did not say oh yes i knew about it or no i did not know about it avoided this even his bestie miriam awolowo kept telling jd to go ahead and file alongside his ex-wife but what did jd do jd instead came out and told crystal to counter sue his ex-wife and that's what crystal is standing by saying i will not stay away from the children this woman wants to force herself into the life of strangers children when she has her own children she has her own grandchildren why do you want to be in the life of cora obedi's children seriously if you have seen the filings let me know what you think about all the bull crap that crystal filed as her defense in the case that she has with cora obedi now that being said i want to say thank you so very much and don't forget to subscribe we will be bringing more not more uh updates consigning the case and um like i said keep a date with us subscribe turn on your notification bell so you will not miss any single damn thing but just comment below what you think about crystal's defense thank you so very much and i will see you on the next one